Hello, this is Jason Semiliano from Smarter Incorporated here again to bring you another TIBCO tutorial. In today's lesson, we will learn how to query a database table. You will be blown away at how easy it is to perform this task using TIBCO Designer. If you were to use another programming language such as C++, C Sharp, Java, PHP, it is much more difficult to query, to connect and to query to a, a database. Whereas with TIBCO Designer, it is much, much easier. I think you'll fall in love, you'll fall in love with TIBCO after this tutorial in the same way that I did many, many years ago. So enough with the evangelizing. Let's move on to the tutorial. Let us switch over to TIBCO Designer. Again, this is our empty project. Well, it's not so empty because I created a Hello World process here from a previous tutorial. I hope you had a chance to watch that. So we will create a different pro process design here today. But first, let me show you what we're going to query. We're going to query an Oracle database. And the table name is Book. And as you can see here, the, I have three records. So we're going to query this data in this book table in the Oracle database. So let's move on along to TIBCO Designer. And I hope you follow along with me because I believe you will learn a lot, especially if you're new to TIBCO Designer. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to create a new folder underneath the Business Processes folder. So right click on Business Processes and select New Folder. And I'm going to call this one Query DB Table. Apply and save. Inside the Query DB Table folder, I'm going to create a, a right click. I, I'm going to pick Add Resource and I'm going to the Process Palette and I'm going to pick Process Definition to create a new process definition. I'm going to rename this process definition. I'm going to call it Get books click apply double click on the process definition you see a start and an end activity I'm going a little bit faster than the hello world tutorial here because I'm expecting that you know a little bit more TIBCO now compared to the when we were in the hello world tutorial so I'm going what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add an activity follow along with me Right click on a white space, pick add resource, select JDBC palette, and then select the JDBC query activity. That brings forth a JDBC query activity. As you can see here, what you need before you can query a table in a database is you need to be able to connect to that database first. So we have to do something here. You see this JDBC connection here that's bolded that means it's required that means you have to create a JDBC connection shared resource so follow along with me here I'm going to save what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder from the top root folder I'm going to right click on the root folder and I'm going to select new folder so follow along with me I'm going to rename this shared resources Click apply. In here, I'm going to create another folder underneath the shared resources folder. I'm going to right click, say new folder. I'm going to call this connections. Are you with me? So I'm teaching you not just development work here, but also organization in your development, in your project explorer. It's really good to organize your resources. Right click on connections. Add another folder and call this one JDBC. In the JDBC folder, right click and add a resource from the JDBC palette, select JDBC connection. Now you see here a JDBC connection. I'm going to make it uniform with our, my other naming convention here which is no spaces in the folders and resources in the project explorer so I took off the 
space there. In the JDBC driver, click on the select driver drop down box and then select Oracle driver. This is assuming you're using Oracle, which I am in this tutorial. As you can see, the JDBC, the database URL had been populated. So all you have to do is replace these tags with your information. In my case, it, the host is local host. The database is local in my computer. The port is 1521. The SID is XE because I'm using Oracle Express Edition. The username in my case is local DB. And I'm going to put in my password here. I'll click apply. You with me? Very simple to do. All I had to do was specify the database URL, username, and password. Click on test connection. Make sure, of course, your Oracle database is started and you should see a JDBC connection test successful. That means you have successfully connected to the Oracle database. Let's go back to our get books process definition and go back to our JDBC query. First of all, I'm going to rename this, give this a more meaningful name. I'll call this get books. In the JDBC connection, browse for that shared resource, which we call the JDBC connection shared resource. Click OK. Now your JDBC query activity is connected, is referencing the JDBC connection. In our SQL statement, we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to say select all from book. Very simple. Okay. I clicked apply. And here's what you have to do. You have to click on fetch here. But before we click on fetch, let me show you something. Let's go to the output tab. Notice that there's an error here. That means it ha it doesn't know what the structure of the output is yet. So you need to click on the button here called fetch. That way it'll fetch the structure of the table and then now you can have access to it in your subsequent activities. So did you click on the button called fetch? Good. Click apply and save. Now believe it or not, folks, that's all you had to do in this activity. You notice how simple that was to do? That's why I really, really like this tool. So remember from our previous tutorial, what do we have to do now? We now have to connect them with transition lines. So I click on this button on the top called Create Transition. From the start to the get books, I'm going to create a transition. From the get, get books to the end activity, I'm going to create another transition. And I'm going to switch back over to the select to the arrow, the regular arrow. I'm going to make sure that all my activities are aligned using this button here, align top sides. And then I'm going to click on a white space to deselect any, any of the activities. And I'm selecting the process definition now so that I can validate it using this button here called validate resource. So click on it. Resource was successfully validated. Very good. So now we are ready to run this. Click save. Go to the tester tab on the left. Click on the green button to start. Click load and start current to, to load this current process definition. And can you believe it? Now, how, how long did that take? That took only a few minutes. Imagine if you had to write code to do that. That would have taken you a lot longer. This is why I really enjoy being a TIBCO developer. I, I, I love it. So here, if let's take a look at the output of this activity. Let's go to the output tab. You'll notice that we now have the data in this activity. And it will now be available to subsequent activities if we were to have different activities after the get books activity here. In future tutorials, I will show you what we can do with this data. My purpose today was simply to show you how to connect to a database and then to query a table in that database. And as you can see, it was very, very easy. So, like I always say, I gotta love Tipco for making a really good tool. So, 
That's all for today. Stay tuned for more tutorials to come. 